Hey, <clears throat> hey, fresh cut, what's up? It's the culture detective here investigating your favorite movies. And last night, while I still uh, while I still had a lot of hair on my head, I watched The Batman, directed by Matt Reeves. Yes, 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 yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I have finally watched The Batman. This is easily the most hyped film of 2022. When this movie got released, everybody on the internet was talking about it. Now, uh, the reason why I didn't watch it sooner is quite complicated. The movie premiered on March 4th, I think, and for March 6th, the film club in my college actually organized an unofficial meeting for the club members to go to an AMC theater and watch the Batman together. And I really wanted to join it. I was going to join, except uh, who would have thought that on that day I had to move. So I spent that day, uh, instead of watching the Batman with film club, I packed and moved from my second host family to my Airbnb. And after weeks and weeks and weeks, I have been trying to find someone to watch the Batman with because I don't want to go to the movies alone. It makes me look like a loser, even though I've done that several times already. So on Saturday mornings, I have the film class, the cinematography class. And in that class, I've met many people. And I found a particular person named Christian who had not seen the Batman yet. So I'm like, hey man, let's, uh, you know, you haven't seen the Batman. I haven't seen the Batman, you know, let's watch the movie together. And that is something I've never really done before to a non-Hong Konger. So the balls, the size of the balls that I had when I, when I did this is honestly impressive. But unfortunately, Christian's always busy. He's always busy doing uh, homework assignments. He's always busy working and he's a film guy. So he goes onto sets and make films and film stuff. Meanwhile, I, I don't because I'm a loser. But finally, we are free to watch the film. So uh, last night, uh, during the afternoon, he, sud he suddenly texted me. He's like, yo, I'm actually free tonight. Want to watch the Batman? I know it's a little late, but you know, is it cool? And I'm like, yeah, it's cool. So uh, finally, um, me went to uh, the cinema and met up with Christian and watched the Batman. And I was late too, by like a couple minutes, but no worries because the trailers were still playing in the theaters, in the cinema, but Americans call it theaters. So um, yeah, let's finally review the Batman. Uh, the Batman is the new Batman movie, DCEU, and, um, uh, wow, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It is really well shot. It is surprisingly even more well directed than I thought it would be. Like the editing, the shots, the pacing, the atmosphere, it's artsy. Like it's, it's artsy, it's artistic and it's gritty and it's moody, it's emo and i just really like it a lot of shots here are really well lit i love the color palettes here as well and um it's something of a work of art in and of itself it doesn't feel like a a corporate expensive fast food uh factory made movie it actually felt like something passionate and artistic from matt reeves and i also really like how the movie took something from the dc comics and modernized it the Batman, this one, felt very 2020s. It doesn't feel 2010s, it doesn't feel 2000s, it felt very now. It feels really modern. And given how old school the comic is, like if you really wanted to adapt the comics, the DC comics and the Marvel comics like one to one into, into like live action now, it will look goofy as hell. But this movie managed to make it look believable. I also like the music a lot. It is really obvious that they attempted to make a Batman theme. Bum, 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 bum. And it's not a very catchy theme. You know, I, I wish they would have like interpolated and modernized the but uh, still good theme, nice music. Uh, the highlight of the movie is of course 
the performances. Everyone did a fantastic job. Robert Pattinson as the Batman is actually amazing. And I really like that different actors have different takes on the Batman. I mean, uh, George Clooney and, uh, what's his name? Um, Michael, Michael, frick, I forgot the name. I, I'm very forgetful sometimes, I'm sorry. Michael Keaton, yes, that's his name, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton, Christian Bale, and now Robert Pattinson. Everybody's got a different take on Batman, a slightly different take, and that's kind of awesome. I also really like that different directors have different takes on the Batman and the Joker. Instead of being a couple of ha-ha, cool movie superheroes and supervillains, like... The Batman and the Joker have become two Shakespearean characters because when movie directors want to adapt Shakespeare nowadays, they don't just adapt it like one to one from its original source. There's always some kind of interpretation. There's always some kind of modernization, stylization. And it's very obvious that Matt Reeves interpreted the Batman's character himself as well as the people working with him. And that's really cool. Um, frigging, uh, Paul Dano as the, as the Riddler is awesome. I mean, I know he's being a little typecasted here, but gosh darn, great performance. Zoe Kravitz, sheesh. Um, what else? Colin Farrell as Penguin is honestly amazing. Way better than I thought. Like, if nobody told me that it's Colin Farrell, I would not have known that it's Colin Farrell. The makeup is amazing. Like, there are all these movies where one particular character has just ridiculously convincing makeup out of nowhere for some reason. Like, Jared Leto and House of Gucci and, and Christian Bale and Vice and, uh, you know, like, and then now we have this. You know, Tilda Swinton and Suspiria. But uh, that's really good. Um, but in my opinion, even though I think it's really good, and I don't think it's cheesy, not really, uh, I, d I don't think it's that great or anything. I mean, the story is still very long, and I don't find it boring. It's just that it's very long, and it's not particularly interesting or anything. Like, I like the murder mystery element, but it's not that mysterious. It's Riddler. It's Paul Dano. We know that, okay? We already know that. And uh, at the end of the day, I still prefer The Dark Knight over this one. I still think The Dark Knight is, like, way more entertaining, way more engaging. Maybe not as artsy visually and stylistically, but uh, really entertaining and uh, way more compelling and shocking. But um, I still really like The Batman. I still think it's a damn good movie. Um, and, um, yeah, just, uh, excited to see more, I guess. Yeah. Matt Reeves to Batman. Uh, I, I heard somewhere that Matt Reeves is not a very good director. Like, like, not a very nice director. Like, he's not a nice dude. So, I, I don't know. But, um, I, I do enjoy the movie, though. I do. I do, I do, I do. Feeling, uh, decent 8 out of 10. So, have you watched The Batman from 1 to 10 minutes straight? Like the like and subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching. Tomorrow night, I'll be watching Everything Everywhere all at once in the cinema with another friend of mine because um, I am uh, socializing like a beast. I'm speaking to strangers. I'm acting natural like a human being. I know, it's crazy, but I'm actually doing it. I'm insane, I know. Making friends? Social life? What are you, insane? Yes, I am.